in the remaining amount plus 1.3 kg of sugar thereafter no sugar is left what is the value of x 7 7.5 or 8 or 9 or 10 right so understand what he says deepak has got x kg of sugar and we have to find out this x right the the same old mathematics problem what is x yeah what is the value of x that's what you have to find out here deepak has bought x kg of sugar now a the person a buys one third of this amount one third of this amount which means one third of x plus one kg of sugar one third of that amount plus one kg of sugar so he has bought this and he has left from the remaining amount b buys now this new person b who's buy he's bought one fourth of the remaining amount plus half a kg of sugar plus half a kg of sugar and then there is a guy c c who's bought 60 percent of the remaining amount plus 1.3 kg of sugar and after C leaves, there is no sugar left. Thereafter, there is no sugar left. So, what is the value of X is the question. What is the value of X is the question. Let me explain this to you. This is like a complex one. I know many of you would get stuck and we would not know how to... I mean, we, we, we would end up wasting a lot of time. But then, how do we solve this? The value is X. In, in step 1, X is the value. X kgs. What happens in step 2? A comes. A comes into picture. A has bought how much? One third of X plus 1. So, he has bought what? x plus 3 by 3 this is what x has bought i mean a has bought right a comes in step 2 let's say in step 1 initially we have x a has bought one third of x one third of this amount meaning what one third of x plus 1 kg so they say x by 3 plus 1 so x plus 3 by 3 implies what is remaining i'm trying to find out the remaining remaining quantity what is the remaining quantity x minus of x plus 3 by 3 yes or no overall was x initially before this then x plus 3 by 3 has been sold. So remaining is this. Simplify how much will this be? 3x minus x, 2x, 2x minus 3. 2x minus 3 by 3. Now step 3. B comes into picture. B has bought how much? B has bought one fourth of remaining amount. See, remaining is this. Remaining is this. 2x by uh, 2x minus 3 by 3. B has bought one fourth of this plus half a kg of sugar. So how much has B bought? B has bought one fourth of this value. 2x minus 3 by 3. B has bought one-fourth of this plus half kg of sugar plus half plus half a kg of sugar yes or no B has bought this much one-fourth of this value this was remaining all these are remaining values right whatever we are getting finally are remaining values so B has bought one-fourth of this plus half kg so one-fourth of this plus half kg which implies what is remaining now what is now remaining see before this step the remaining was this 2x 2x minus 3 by 3 from this subtract this this has been sold right we had this left from which this has been sold so 2x minus 3 by 3 minus this yeah so this is like uh, minus 1 fourth of 2x minus 3 by 3 and minus half you know minus of minus so minus and minus half so what will this be equal to so i think uh, if you take 2x by 3 minus 3 common uh, 2x minus 3 by 3 common we'll get 1 minus 1 fourth which is 3 fourth so 3 fourth of 2x minus 3 by 3 minus half so 3 and 3 gets cancelled i think finally we will have 4 as lcm so 2x minus 3 minus 2 so i think 2x minus 5 by 4 this is remaining you understand 2x minus 3 by 4 minus 1 by 2 so it's like 2 by 4 so 2x minus 3 by 4 minus 2 by 4 so 2x minus 3 minus 2 2x minus 5 by 4 i mean you can look at the detailed step by step process to understand now this is remaining now comes the step fourth who comes here c c comes into picture c buys 60 percent of the remaining amount plus 1.3 kg of sugar c is about how much 60 percent of remaining 60 percent of this value 2x minus 5 by 4 plus 1.3 plus 1.3 c is bought C has bought 60% of the remaining amount plus 1.3. So this is remaining now. See, initially this itself was remaining. I mean, th that's the value. After that, this was remaining. Then we got this to be remaining. Yeah, assuming my calculation is correct here. I mean, you can ratify the steps. And then C has bought 60% of this plus 1.3. And then there is no sugar left. After this, the remaining is 0. After this, remaining how much? Remaining is equal to 0. There is nothing left after this, right? 0. So how do you solve this now how do you solve this we have got these four steps i hope all of you have understood the uh, four steps there right without any uh, difficulty yeah now now how do you get see remaining is zero he says after that there is no sugar left but how do you actually calculate the remaining value remaining value is this minus this 
you understand what we have been doing so far x minus this give you remaining then this minus this give you this remaining so this 0 can be equated as what this 2x minus 5 by 4 I am not for a moment asking you to do this in the exam just understand what would ideally happen this was initially left minus what has c bot is this 60 percent can be taken as 3 by 5 to make it a little simpler so 3 by 5 of 2x minus 5 by 4 minus 1.3 this is the final equation ha. so 2x minus 5 by 4 is a value which was left after b left amount which was left after b left from which c has bought this much so remaining will be 2x minus 5 by 4 minus of this is 60 percent i mean this 60 percent can be taken as 3 fifth i hope you understand right this is like 3 fifth of the value so 3 fifth of 2x minus 5 by 4 minus 1.3 this is equal to 0 so we have got one equation in terms of x solve for x that's the solution solve for x yeah solve for x to get the answer now all of you would be wondering do you want us to do this in them no absolutely not waste of time waste of time if this is how you want to solve it the easiest solution is skip and go to the next one the best way to solve this question is to skip it and go to the next one if at all this is what you have in your mind do not do this in the exam right do not try this in your exam it's like it's like a stunt right which is performed on reality shows they said don't try this at home don't try this in the exam this is going to make your life miserable and one step if you go wrong somewhere you have to read to the whole stuff so this is definitely not the way to do it i mean you'll get the right answer i'm sure but we can't do this in the exam so let us look at the smarter way of getting the answer so clear that up now let's see the smart way of getting the answer go by options smart use your options if all of you say that the most uh, difficult part in bank exams is that there are five options i'll say the advantage is that we have got five options having options is not the disadvantage having options is an advantage substitution reverse substitution reverse engineering heard of this i'm sure most of you are engineers right reverse engineering don't find out what is x substitute and check what can be x following the given conditions three conditions are given to us initially there was x from which a buys one third and one kg then b buys one fourth of remaining and half kg then c by 60 percent of remaining and 1.3 kg after that nothing is left so you take a value of x one by one x can be seven can be 7.5 can be eight can be nine can be ten and check that by following this process where do we get finally zero no sugar left whichever option gives you no sugar left that's your answer that's your answer so let me do that for you now now do we have to do it for all the options well ideally yes you have to do it for all the options but your choice of options can help you save some time are, are you able to follow I'll, I'll tell you i am assuming i'm assuming that option one option three and option five are not the probable answers i'll tell you why the first step tells me that a has by one third of the quantity one third of the quantity plus one kg a has bought one third of the quantity plus one kg whatever this amount is this amount is nothing but x this amount is what x yes or no a has bought one third of x what is x if you take x as 7 one third of 7 is not an integer value now it is not a rule that it should be an integer it's not a rule that it should be an integer but i would i would assume that it should be an integer so that the calculation is easy Other, otherwise it will become very complex so one third of 7 will give you what 2.33 no doesn't look good one third of 8 2.66 even this doesn't look good one third of 10 is 3.33 even that's like a little typical one right now one third of 7.5 is 2.5 so maybe yes a has bought 2.5 plus 1 kg one third of 9 is 3 so 3 plus 1 4 kg could be possible so i will anyway have to check all the options but i will start not with option one i'll start with option two then option four and then i'll proceed for the other ones if i fail to get the answer in option two and option four only then i'll jump to the other options because these are unlikely in my view option one option three and option five are unlikely this is an assumption let me tell you this is an assumption i am starting with 7.5 then i'll move to nine or if you have a gut that uh, gut feeling that option four should be correct start with option four if that satisfies that's your answer otherwise go for other options so let me start with option two option two let us assume option two is correct which is 7.5 kg now how much will a buy a will buy one third of 7.5 plus one very quick calculations so 2.5 plus 1 3.5 implies what is remaining 7.5 minus 3.5 4 is remaining what will be by one fourth of four plus half a kg 
one fourth of four is one. One plus half is one point five. Now what is remaining? Four, see, four was there. Remaining is uh, what has been one point five. Four minus one point five, two point five. Now what will we see by sixty percent of two point five plus one point three kg. So what is sixty percent of two point five? Sixty percent of two point five will be one point five. One point five plus one point three is two point eight. How on planet is it possible that when there was only two point five kg left, C bought two point eight kgs? In my stock, there is 2.5 kg. This fellow C comes and buys 2.8 kgs. Where will we get that extra 300 grams from? No, not possible. Which means option two is wrong. Let's try option four. Same exercise, very quickly. Option four. How much is this? Nine kg. I'm just quickly trying it out. So how much will A buy? A will buy one third of nine plus one kg. One third of nine is three. Three plus one, four kgs. Implies what is remaining? Understand? Nine minus four, five kgs. What will B buy? B will buy one fourth of five plus half a kg. One fourth of five is how much? Uh, one point two five plus half is one point seven five. So what is remaining? Five minus one point seven five. This was the stock minus one point seven five. Five minus one point seven five is three point two five kgs. Now what will C buy? C will buy sixty percent of three point two five plus one point three. Find out how much is remaining. Sixty percent of three point two five. Sixty percent of three point two five. Or, or otherwise, understand. I'll, I'll give you one more logic. Let's, let's do this calculation. Now, 60% of 3.25 plus 1.3. When you calculate, I think 60% is uh, it's like 320. 60% is three fifths of this, right? So 325 by 5 is uh, uh, 65. 65 into uh, 3 uh, 3 by 5. You got it right. 65 into 3. Which is uh, 1.95. 1.95 plus 1.3 is 3.25. Yes, it is equal to 3.25. Which implies remaining is zero. That's what we want. Nothing was left. So option four is correct. I mean, this calculation has to be done very quickly, right? So option four, nine kg is the correct answer. Go by options. Remember, you don't have to solve the question for you to arrive at the answer. I mean, always using the regular method, right? You can also go by options. So very clearly, option four is the answer because it satisfies the condition. I have nine kg. I sold one third of that plus one kg. So four kg sold remaining is all these are remaining values. Whatever we have on the left hand side or all right hand side are all remaining values. Then from that remaining one five kg we sold one fourth plus half a kg. Then remaining is 3.5. From that we sold 60 point 60 percent and then 1.3 kg. He's saying that no sugar is left. Yes, no sugar is left after this. So option four nine kg can be taken as a correct answer. And, and another logic let me tell you. This last statement is very important. Let me highlight that. The last statement which says C bought 60% of the remaining amount plus 1.3 kgs of sugar. This is very important. See, what does it say thereafter no sugar is left? Try and understand this. Try and understand this. I, I'll explain that in yellow. Whatever has been highlighted in yellow, let me explain that process in yellow. <laughs> or yellow may not be bright enough here. Let, let me explain that point here. 60% of remaining plus 1.3. There is some remaining value. We do I write? I am writing it here. There is some remaining value. C has bought 60% of this and 1.3 kg. See, if C has bought 60% of this, what is left out? 40%. From any remaining value, if you have bought 60%, what should be remaining? The, I mean, after that, what is remaining finally? 40%. He says 60 bought 60% of this plus 1.3 kg of sugar, and after that, nothing is left. See, C has bought 60%, this one, and he has bought 1.3 kg. After that, nothing is left. Which means C bought this 40% also, right? If nothing is left, if no sugar is left, C has bought actually 100%. After C buys, nothing is left. Which means obviously C has bought 100% of the remaining value. But he says C bought 60% of remaining plus 1.3 kg of sugar. So can I say that that remaining 40% is equal to 1.3? All these are smart logics that you have to apply. Yeah? C has bought everything basically. C has bought 100%, but instead of saying 100%, he says C has bought 60% of remaining plus 1.3. So I can equate the remaining 1.3 as 40% of the remaining value. So if 40% is 1.3, 100% is how much? 40% is 1.3, 100% will be how much? 100% will be, I think, 1.3 into 2.5. 100% will be 1.3 into 2.5 is uh, 2.6 plus 6.5, 3.25. So I know initially itself that in the final step, 3.5 kg of sugar should be there. That's what we have got here, right? You see? So I can stop here itself. Like in the, I mean, if I had done this calculation in the beginning itself, I will not proceed for the next step here. 
the moment i get 2.5 kg remaining i can say this is wrong because after b leaves remaining should be 3.25 here you see after b leaves remaining is 3.25 so this this itself can give us the answer i mean at this step itself we can arrive at the answer anyway option 4 9 kg is the final